Hey, so how are all my super friends in the DC squad doing today? Good, I hope. So today I just wanted to make a very quick video and to come down to the basement. I wanted to first off say thank you. We've hit 2,000 subscribers as of recording this video, which is amazeballs. I didn't think we were going to get here this fast, yet here we are. And that tells me that 2,000 people, roughly, because I mean, you always get people that watch and then drop off, but roughly 2,000 people have decided to hit the subscribe button and then watch more than one video. Hopefully my content is resounding with people and they're enjoying it, which is wonderful. And this being a DC based channel, that tells me that there are 2000 DC fans out there who just can't get enough DC content. So a big fat thank you. We made it to 2000. I had to make the content, that's true, but you had to be enjoying the content and watching it. And if it wasn't for you watching the content, it, there'd be nothing to tell the algorithm to send more people here. That's, that's how it works. It keeps track of how fast, when I upload a video, it keeps track of how fast you end up going to my video in the first 48 hours. And then it also keeps track of total watch time in minutes, not percentage, but in minutes. That means if I have a 10 minute video and you watch 70% uh, of it, so you watch seven minutes of my 10 minute video or eight minutes of my 10 minute video, it goes, oh, that one must be reasonably good. And it begins to suggest it as a taste test for other people in that topic. And that means that it's working. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be ending up being suggested. And there's times when I've logged into YouTube, not under any account, under someone else's IP address, and my videos still show up when I, when I search for the basic term, not the exact title, because that's kind of cheating, but the basic term, they show up. And that's thanks to you for watching the videos and consuming them and all the support you've given me. So a big fat thank you, we did it, 2000. The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about some of the, not the changes coming on the channel, because the channel's staying exactly the same, but I will be reviewing a bit less products in the coming uh, months, just because it's expensive as a Canadian to, to buy these products, have them shipped here and reviewed here, or just buying the products in Canada, comic book retailers and Walmart, Toys R Us. I mean, if you think it's expensive where you are if you live in the States, mm, it's way more here. It's, it's way, way more here. For me, just to have a multiverse flash, if I want to buy this from Walmart, it is $29.97. $29.97. So you really have to fork out a buttload of cash to make most of these video reviews even happen, unless you manage to find out on eBay or Amazon for really cheap and the shipping is cheap. It's expensive and I can't keep up the momentum forever. Yeah, I've got all kinds of older stuff still in box that I can pop open and, and review, and I've got customs. Like, I do have all kinds of stuff, but I don't just want this to be a product review channel. I've said all along I want to do other stuff. One of the series that I wanted to make, which is actually the second uh, reason for making this video, is I wanted to do the Who Is segment on this channel, and I haven't done it yet, and that probably just seems like I'm being lazy, and I just, another thing I haven't done that I, but honestly, I haven't done it because I wanted to have that backbone. I wanted to have that, you know, the groundwork, you know, a foundation to lay my who is uh, series on. And the thing is, there's so much information. Uh, there's reboots, hard and soft reboots, you know, there's complete, complete revamps that happen that it's, you know, sometimes it can be tricky to nail down the facts of a character. And there's so much information on the web and, and people have various ideas and feats from their favorite characters that maybe are no longer applicable and that kind of thing. So what I wanted to do was have a basic, as current as I could get, backbone source for all the characters. And so I picked up this book that I'm gonna show you and I also wanna show you another product I picked up that hopefully will make the channel a little bit better. So I'm just gonna spin the camera around and we're gonna have a look at that quickly as well. Okay, so recent purchases for the channel, not including figures, because they're just going to be a given. I picked up the DC Comics Encyclopedia, the definitive guide to the characters of the DC Universe, and I did this because I want to start that Who Is segment, right? Who Is, dot, dot, dot. The problem is there's so much information out there. There's, you know, there's information post all the different crises. There's post zero hour. There's so much out there, and everyone has a favorite version of their character that... It's kind of important to have a definitive guide to what they are like now. I mean, this book is, I believe, a 2016 or 2017 book. Let me just have a peek. Yeah, 2016 here. 
Now, if that's early 2016 or late 2016, I have no idea. I just know that it's 2016. We're currently 2018. So some of this information is going to be probably a little bit outdated. However, this is still the definitive guide to the DC Universe, created in full collaboration with DC Comics. So it's important to know that when I take something out of this book, unless, unless there's more information, like I read Superman like religiously, so I know what's going on in the Superman comics, so I can add to the information here. Same thing with Supergirl, but I can't afford to, to read all the comics, so it you know, you're gonna have to have just a little bit of mercy on me for the fact that, say for example, I don't buy every Batman comic, so I'm gonna miss things. Maybe there'll be things that I'm saying that are a bit outdated. Understand that the Who Is videos are meant to be accurate as I can possibly make them. However, they're also meant to be fun. And let's just not lose sight of that. As much as I love the comic books, I love DC Comics, I really do this for fun. And that's also why I love the mythologies of these characters. If I wasn't having fun with these characters, honestly, I wouldn't read about them. So, yeah, there's that. And this will be sprinkled and bolstered with other information from, say, you know, pre-New 52 sources and New 52 sources and stuff like that. But my backbone will be this book. Also for the channel, I picked up a turntable. I picked up this right here. And why did I pick it up? It, well, I joke about it in a, in a previous video that I, you know, I picked it up so that I could be just like all the rest of the reviewers and fit in with the cool club. One, that ain't never going to happen. And number two, I picked it up because it just made sense to own it. You know, when you have a figure and you're reviewing it, there's, a time, there's times when it just stands there, and if you haven't taken snapshots enough you know, to kind of fill it in, then you just have a figure standing there while you're talking, and that's just boring for the viewers. And I, it, I, rev I, I know that watching a product review, unless you're really interested in it, can be slightly boring. And so I figure having it at least spin around in a circle, it's something, right? It's eventful. However, I'm just gonna turn it on here. You can hear that, right? <laughs> It's uh, it's slightly noisy, and the funny thing is, this is actually on fast. Like this, this is the faster speed. Let's stick a cavil head on here. <laughs> it's really slow. Imagine how slow it is when I put it on slow. Oh god, that's even slower. I can't really notice that much of a difference though. Anyway. So I picked this up. Hopefully this is going to be something that's going to help the channel as well and make the channel a little bit more interesting. Uh, am I getting it right? Do I look like the tiki head? Uh, okay, I'm a dummy. Sorry, I admit that. Uh, you, you probably weren't expecting to meet me down here in my office after seeing me out there in the review room, but my camera died, so... Here I am, I'm sitting in my office. This should be a familiar setting though because this is where I recorded every episode of Comic Talk. So those of you who have been around since Comic Talk, you'll recognize this place. Anyhow, so now we're just gonna continue from here from the little camera and the big microphone. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about as well, one last thing I wanted to mention was the fact that that Facebook page never happened. And that's not to say it won't, it's just anyone who's ever moderated a Facebook group, there's a lot of responsibility in it because the one thing I've learned about people, as, as much as people can be these amazing creatures, we can be amazing and loving and caring and patient and kind, people can also be not so patient and not so kind, you know, and especially in the fandom community, you know, uh, people can get torn to shreds. And I really just don't want a Facebook community that is like that. I want people to be respectful of other people. I want people to help people that don't know as much. If people are debating ideas, based on their favorite characters, strengths, weaknesses, who could beat who based on continuity. I always want to make sure that that stays respectful. And it doesn't matter what you do, you're always going to find people in life that they just don't care. They're just jerks. They're just the people that go, nope, I'm right, and that's what it is, and you're going to live with it. You know, And I don't want people to have to live with it in this community. I want people to feel safe in this community. They can talk, and they can say what they want. They can voice their opinion while being respectful. If people want to just... I voiced my opinion and people jumped on me. Well, were you a dick about it? If you said it in a dickish way, then yeah, people aren't going to like it. I want people to be respectful in the community. And that's difficult. And I know that starting a community would, would mean, unfortunately, having to police it constantly. And I don't mean that in like the, you know, kind of, I, I just mean having to keep my eye on it, making sure that people are playing nice and occasionally giving people the boot who are just 
being dickheads. And I know that there are people that have said, hey, I've modded communities before. I could totally help you mod the community. I took totally, I totally took note of all that back then. But for me, it is the personal jump to take on the responsibility of starting this community. Because in the end, I'm nothing. I'm just a guy. However, when you start the community, you are the nothing, the just the guy who started the community. And in the end, that means that the responsibility does fall down to me to make sure that newcomers and new fans and people who maybe are otherwise antisocial taking a step to even come out and say hello in a community like this, my job is to make sure that it is welcoming and safe enough for everybody. And that's a big step. And I have to feel comfortable and ready for it. So I really do want to make the Facebook community happen. I just got to be, it's got to be the right timing. But yeah, I think I've said everything I wanted to say. I've touched base on everything. It was just kind of like a hello. So I think I've achieved that. So I guess the video is over. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to allow me to touch base with you face to face in a very candid, very natural way, whether it being a product review or anything like that, or a discussion talk. I appreciate that. If you've liked the video, please take the time to leave a like on it because that's going to let me know that hopefully I've done something right and you've enjoyed the video. Any comments you have, leave, the, leave those down in the comments section below. Um, again, very sorry I haven't started that Facebook group yet. It's still in the works. And uh, if you think you might want to see more of my sort of content, show up in your inbox, maybe my product reviews or more of my face, hit the subscribe button because it's free. And if you ever get bored and want to unsubscribe, you can do that too, and it's free. And then if you do subscribe, remember to ding the bell so that you never miss a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome day, DC Squad. Take care.